Good morning. It's Friday, March 10th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, His Hands, and our scripture is Psalm 95. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains. I watched an engaging video of a sculpture in progress. An artist dipped her hands in a bucket of gooey stuff. When she drew her hands back out, all you could see was two holes where the hands went in. Then she poured some more gooey stuff into the holes. Some time passed and she dumped the hardened three gallons of formerly gooey stuff on the table. She then carefully cut away everything that surrounded the holes she made before in the now hardened gooey stuff, which was about the consistency of fried tofu. Yeah, you're right, I wouldn't eat it either. When she had gotten most of the excess away from the hand holes, she used her own hands to peel away the rest. What she unveiled was a perfect sculpture of her hands, joined together as if tenderly holding a small bird. It was almost breathtaking. The depth of feeling that followed started the juices flowing in my brain. I began to muse on God's eternal hands in creation. He who is unseen by human eyes created everything we see and experience. We have never seen those hands which sculpted Adam's bones, muscles, tendons, and flesh from the muddy clay. But there and here we are, and the unseen hands are still holding us firmly. At times I think if only we could peel away that veil that blinds our eyes and see him in all the beauty that loved us so deeply, all the madness of this world's crime and hatred would melt away like that artist's gooey stuff, and we would see clearly how firm his foundation stands. And then reality kicks in. I already know how the world can see him and those loving hands which he used to sculpt a perfect image of his care for us. Like the hand artist and her gooey stuff, I must allow what God chooses to pour into that place in my heart whatever God wants everyone who sees me to see. He made in each of us a perfect impression for what he wants the world to see and experience. Now, that leaves a lot to the imagination. What does a person pour in that will come out as a perfect representation of God's love? How do you do that? Answer, it isn't what you pour in. It's what his hands will fill in you if you open that little door in your heart and give him free reign to do what he wants. For you today. Opening your heart to what God wants to give you is a simple prayer, surrendering your will to His. And it goes like this, Lord, I am in the hands of the one who knows me best and loves me most. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.